If you want to know the best HBO series, you should definitely watch our picks for the best ones of the 2010s. That's like trying to use a croissant as a f***ing dildo. I thought that... No, no, no. Let me be more clear. It doesn't do the job, and it makes a f***ing mess. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments, and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. The Leftovers, 2014. What is ambiguous about your family being gone? Well, and you must know because you lost, what, four? You count your parents in that? What were they, in their 70s? The Leftovers is a supernatural mystery drama television series created by Damon Lindelof and Tom Perota. Defined by its grim tone and mysterious atmosphere, The Leftovers is everything fans of shows like Lost ever wanted, a good mystery with a great plot. Three years after 2% of the world's population suddenly disappeared, we follow the family of police chief Kevin Garvey, who tried to make a living after the collapsing event. But as no one would have thought, there is more to the vanishing than expected. I lost everything, you fucking fraud. You fucking liar. You're not in pain. Because if you were in pain, you would know there is no moving on. There is no happiness. What's next? What's fucking next? Nothing is next. Number 9. Big Little Lies, 2017. No. God, no. He would never hurt the children. Big Little Lies is a drama television series created by David E. Kelly. Featuring an incredible ensemble cast, Big Little Lies follows several storylines with characters who are all connected through friendship and family. Focusing on the female perspectives of struggling and failing relationships, we witness how small lies can evolve into big abominations when hidden and how people can turn into monsters through lies, mental illness, and that friendship is a house of cards in wealthy society. There's violence, yes, in the relationship, and that's why we came in and it's an issue, but, I mean, all marriages are complicated. You think violence is normal in a relationship? No! <sighs> Number 8 Boardwalk Empire 2010 It sounds to me like you're asking for a favor. I'm asking to make a deal. I need a man with your political reach to quash the indictment. Boardwalk Empire is a period crime drama television series created by Terrence Winter. Focusing on Enoch, Nucky Thompson, a political figure who rises to prominence and later would control Atlantic City and New Jersey. The series explores the 1920s and 1930s. While being inspired by real-life events, Nucky interacts with several historical characters on his journey to glory. Starting when Prohibition is at its rise, we witness how several, not quite legal forces, build up their empire and the victims they make along the way. That could be arranged. What? We're talking. In exchange for what? One million in cash. Number seven. The Newsroom, 2012. You don't look satisfied. One's a set of laws and the other's a declaration of war. I want a human moment from you. The Newsroom is a political drama television series created by Aaron Sorkin. Within times of the modern age, things become increasingly complicated in terms of media. And this show offers an extremely interesting inside view into the backstage of modern news companies. We follow the staff of the fictional Atlantis Cable News, including anchor Will McAvoy, who set out to put on a news show in the face of corporate and commercial obstacles, which will bring them some unexpected results. Now, none of this is the fault of a 20-year-old college student, but you nonetheless are, without a doubt, a member of the worst period, generation, period, ever, period. So when you ask what makes us the greatest country in the world, I don't know what the you're talking about. Yosemite? Number six. Euphoria 2019. Sorry, I can't help Fez, you. Fez, I've had a really fucked up day, all right? Like, it's been a really, really fucked up day, okay? So I need you to open the door for me, okay? Euphoria is a teen drama television series created by Sam Levinson and is loosely based on the Israeli miniseries of the same name. It follows a group of high school students through their experiences of drugs, sex, and violence, with praise going into its acting, story, visuals, and approach to mature subject matter, the series was met with a positive response from critics. 
It is at times hard to watch, but balances its brutal honesty with an empathetic and visually gorgeous eye to create a uniquely challenging series. You dropped out of school at 20, and now you're a gangster. Are you like fucking Tony Montana? What's the plan? Hmm? Gonna be living in a mansion? Fucking pet tigers and shit? Number 5. Westworld 2016. They hurt them. <sighs> Limit your emotional effect, please. Westworld is a science fiction Western television series created by Jonathan Nolan and Lisa Joy. The dark odyssey about the dawn of artificial consciousness takes place in Westworld, a technologically advanced Wild West themed amusement park populated by android hosts. Intended for rich vacationers, the park allows its visitors to live out their wildest fantasies through artificial consciousness. No matter how noble or depraved the fantasy may be, there are no consequences for the park's guests, allowing for any wish to be indulged. The only limit here is your imagination. You start in the center of the park, it's simple, safe. The further out you venture, the more intense the experience gets. How far you want to go is entirely up to you. Number 4. Succession, 2018. Now I'm fucked! <laughs> Forever. <laughs> it sounds bad. It is bad. It is. Succession is a satirical comedy drama television series created by Jesse Armstrong. The series follows the Roy family, the well-known owners of a media conglomerate. While their company is incredibly successful and known around the country, their inner family is defined by conflicts and an atmosphere ruled by acting like strangers to one another. But when the family patriarch Logan Roy experiences a decline in health, his four troubled children have to begin a future without their not-so-loved father. This is uh, Craig, by the way. Cousin Craig. Craig. It's it's Greg. N no? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Greg. Um, people sometimes like mistakenly call me Craig, too. So I'll I'll answer to both. Number three. True Detective 2014. Some folks enjoy community, the common good. Yeah, well, if the common good's got to make up fairy tales, then it's not good for anybody. True Detective is an anthology crime drama television series created by Nick Pizzolatto. Being an anthology show, it features its name giving stories of crime, mystery, and hopeless cases with police detectives who blur the lines between right and wrong while also fighting with their own personal moral convictions. The topics are quite often as disturbing and horrifying as they are masterfully crafted and filled with suspense. Here you will get to know human abysses that remain untouched for decades, till they are lit up. Bull shit. It'd be a fucking freak show of murder and debauchery, and you know it. If the only thing keeping a person decent is the expectation of divine reward, then brother, that person is a piece of shit. And I'd like to get as many of them out in the open as possible. Number two, Silicon Valley, 2014. Uh, what you sold me was not actually Adderall, so maybe we could, do you think you can get me some real Adderall? Silicon Valley is a comedy television series created by Mike Judge, John Altshuler, and Dave Krinsky. The Silicon Valley is a place of prestige and power, but also of competition and mistrust. The series follows Richard, a shy but incredibly brilliant programmer working for a company hoping that they will be the next big thing. But as he piques the interest of two gigantic and powerful company leaders with more dollars than cents, the show goes on a hilarious and cynical ride through the world's tech mecca. A name defines a company. It has to be something primal, something that you can scream out during intercourse, like Aviato. Uber! Goo. Ugo. Hulu. Exactly, right? Pipe Piper! Before we unveil TV show number one, here are some honorable mentions. Traffic is really bad, so the car might be stuck there forever. So I'm supposed to let a bunch of dead eyed white guys shit all over absolutely everything that I stand for. Karen. Do you honestly think we would have worked? I'd like to be given it a try. 
I can't do anything with this hair anymore. This is not enough. There's, there's a good amount of hair. Huh? There's good amount, but listen, I am a barber, not a magician. Okay. But I will do what I can. Okay. Number one. Game of Thrones, 2011. I should have gone back to the wall and won them, but I saw what I saw. I saw the White Walkers. Game of Thrones is a fantasy drama television series created by David Benioff and D.B. Weiss. In a time of mistrust and betrayal, we find our greatest enemies within our own ranks. This is the story of the Kingdom of Westeros, set in a fantastic middle-age-like world. When several powerful families are participating in a fight for the throne, no one will remain safe, nothing will be taken for granted, and one has to learn. In the Game of Thrones, you win or you die. Tell Bran he's coming too. Ned, Tan is too young to see such things. He won't be a boy forever. And winter is coming. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.